Welcome everybody. Today we are going to use the document application in Google Documents. I know that sounds a little confusing, but the document application is the application which is a word processor. So you would use it to write. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to locate Google Chrome and then I'm going to sign in using my email. Once I sign in, I can tell because my email is up in the upper right hand corner and then I go to more documents and then you will see where you have your documents over here on the left hand side you will see a button that says create create a brand new document you will need to press the create button and then select document It'll open up to this screen, and you will see that there is the area that you type in. You will see there is the ruler right here that shows you the edges of the page. And then you have toolbar up here with font, size, bold, italic, underline, text color, background color. And then you will have the menu right here. When you create a document, the first thing I'd like for you to do is title a document. You do that by going up to where it says Untitled Document, and you select it. It'll give you this area where you can fill in the title or the name of your document. And when you're finished, hit OK. Right there, you'll see that it is titled. Now I'm going to put some text in here right now. I just copied text in here so you can see that this is the area that you would write in. Now you notice right here that I have misspelled paragraph and it underlines it. You can click on it and it will give you the correct spelling. You can go back and you can correct by selecting and pressing the tab. We can select this and correct these. that looks better now remember that I said there are some tools up here and this looks pretty interesting you can change the font selecting the font button and then you can choose a different font for it you'll see it changes when you click the font you can change the size you can actually click in here if you have a font in between that you'd like to do let's say you don't want to do 24 or 36 but instead you want to do 28 this bolds click it to bold it then not to bold it italicize underline you can change the text color by clicking on this button and then appear. And if you notice, look right at this area where it says every change you make is automatically saved. Last edit was seconds ago. So if you keep looking at this area right here, if you see I will change something, and it'll say saving, and then when it's done it says all changes are saved. It's important to never close this file while it says saving. The next option I'd like to show you is how to share a document. And to do that, you go up to the upper right hand corner where it says share, and you click on that button. This area, and the first thing we need to do is who has access it says private, so we need to change that. So we would click on change, and we'll change it to anyone with the link. And you hit save. 
and then come down to this area where it says add people and you add their email address once you have their email address in there that means that they will be able to access your document over here there are some options can edit can comment can view we want to make sure that that is set on can edit now when you're finished you will click on the share and save and it will add the person that you are sharing with right here once their name shows up in this list then all you have to do is click done and it will be shared I want to thank you very much for watching this screencast. Goodbye.